My name is Isaac Blunt, 1st Marine, 5th Division, United States Marine Corps. When I was in 5th grade, I watched the two towers get hit, and after that, I was dead set on joining. Uh, directly after high school, I actually joined the Marine Corps. I was injured in Sangin, Afghanistan, June 13, 2011. I was a minesweeper, so I was right out in front. We were on a regular foot patrol. I stepped on a pressure plate IED. I lost both my legs above the knee, left hand, four fingers on my left hand, my left eye, and parts of my groin. First thing I remember waking up was being kind of slung up like this. Couldn't really move my head at all. Couldn't look around. I was just kind of staring directly at, at a hospital door. The doctor came in, told me that I had lost both my legs and I think I passed out after that. Since my injury, it was recovery took a little while. It took me probably about two and a half years to fully, fully recover, like be in my legs and actually walking around without too many issues. The challenges in my, my current apartment is like with the carpet and everything, even if I'm in my, my prosthetics, there'd be times that my foot would catch on the carpet, fall over. Most of the time when I'm at home, I'm in my wheelchair. So I either have to jump up onto the cabinet to reach anything high up. My daughter's name is Isabel, and she, she's five years old. She's, she, she's, she's adorable and she actually knows it. Oh, she's a character. She has all the energy in the world and there's no, there's no stopping her. Oh, with the apartment situation, all I have in the apartment is a fold-out bed. I really don't want to put her in that. I like Home for Our Troops because they actually build the house from the ground up. They pick the land. They make sure that you're in a good spot. They check the surrounding areas. It's, they check the communities, the school districts. They check everything. And they, from what I've been told from quite a few other veterans that have uh, gone through Homes for Our Troops, that the places that they're at is, is great. It's exactly what they wanted. Having a specially adapted home would mean the world to me. It would take a very large weight off my mind. I would be able to focus on my other dreams like traveling and get back into training so I can actually go climb uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. I, uh, I did a climb in Australia a few years back with the Heroes Project, and I want to wanna do another climb up in Kilimanjaro, and hiking, it's, it's a passion of mine. I want to get, get at least a bachelor's degree in, in accounting and become a certified financial planner. I, with this specially adapted house, I won't have to worry about rent, I won't have to worry about driving too far to get to my appointments. I'm looking forward to the fact of getting my daughter out to out to California with me. That she'll actually have uh, she'll have a place to call home. She'll have her own room. She'll have a good community around her, and it'll make things a whole lot easier. Definitely looking to be a family again. <laughs>